We got so many goodies in the office this week, it was like Christmas in June, which means we were super busy in the teardown room taking our new toys apart. So buckle up, because we've got a lot of recap to rip through. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and we started this teardown parade with the new 13-inch MacBook Air. And what we found was that on the surface, this machine was nearly identical to the 2012 version. Not surprisingly, this attributed to it receiving the exact same repairability score, a four out of 10. Not only was the RAM still soldered to the logic board, but the SSDs are not compatible between generations. We made a video that goes way more into detail about this teardown. And if you want, you can see it right here. We also took a look at the 11-inch MacBook Air. If you're looking for differences between the 11-inch Air and the 13-inch Air, well, beyond the obvious size differences, you're gonna have to look pretty hard. Both of these machines have the same processor and are configurable in much the same ways. There are some upgrades to be found in this latest version. Apple has boosted the battery life in this little guy from five hours to an impressive nine hours with this new 5100 milliamp hour battery, which brings us to the repairability score. Just like the 13 inch and for the exact same reasons, we were only able to give the 11 inch model a four out of 10. Next on the teardown table were the Airport Extreme and the Time Capsules. These ultra-hip wireless base stations were quite a pleasure for our team to tear down, not only because they were easy to open, but because they were so different from previous versions, something we've been a little short of this week. Both of these devices were a meager four inches square, but reach extreme heights of six and a half inches, which allows their antenna to have a higher platform for dispersing their signals. The upgrade to 802.11ac Wi-Fi gives these guys a little boost of up to four times the bandwidth with as 802.11n. Both the Airport Extreme and the Time Capsule scored an 8 out of 10 on our repairability scale for their extremely easy disassembly and the use of non-proprietary screws. And lastly, we took a look at the new Xbox 360e. This was yet another case of deja vu all over again, as the techs and specs are nearly identical to the Xbox 360s. We did, however, notice one crucial change. After a drastic redesign to the processors and the heatsink from previous versions, Microsoft seems to have the red ring of death under control. It's a Christmas miracle. We gave the Xbox 360e a repairability score of eight out of 10 for its new easy to open case and its use of cards and connectors instead of cables whenever possible, making the disassembly and reassembly a snap. And there you go, a little teardown recap from all of us here at iFixit to you. If you wanna check out any of these teardowns in full, head on over to iFixit.com where you'll find lots of information, a few jokes, and a ton of high quality images for each of these devices and many more. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at iFixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash iFixit.